Hey y'all, been a long time since we talked last. A lot has gone on. Uh, I think we've definitely started to get back on track in the training. And uh, maybe we'll go into that in a bit more detail in a different video. But anyways, right now, we're about to embark on a very important session. Uh, the session itself is 10 times one minute with three minutes recovery. And I've basically been working up to this session for the last month. Um, started off doing really short stuff, like 10 pedal stroke, very close to maximal effort stuff, and slowly built it out to 20 times 30 seconds at uh, all over 620. And, and then eventually, last week, I did and achieved my goal for this block, um, which was 10 times a minute at 525 watts. So, so the goal for the, the block has already been achieved, but I think it's still good. It's because it's so difficult to set goals and numbers that are, I guess, uh, either not too easy or not too hard. Uh, you probably end up erring on the side of caution and setting goals that are maybe a little too easy. So um, today we're going to do more of a, a test set to end the block and pretty much go for close to maximal for these 10 times a minute. <clears throat> so you might be wondering, what in the world am I doing 30 seconders, 20 seconders, one minute for? But the reality is, if you want to push 320 watts for four hours uh, and then still be able to run well after, uh, well, there's a bit of a progression that's got to happen there. Uh, you certainly got to be able to push over 400 watts for an hour. And to push 400 watts for an hour, you certainly need to be able to do 10 times three minutes at probably 430, 440. And to do that, well, you damn well better be able to push 10 times a minute at 520, 530. So that's the progression. And the reality is strength is the backbone of power. Without strength, there can be no power and you certainly won't be able to sustain power. So that's the sort of logic behind the set, the basis of the set, and that's what we're gonna execute today. Still recovering a minute, a minute after that first one. 555 watts. So, um, take three to one recovery on these because I'm not really interested in much of the, you know, I guess metabolic training effects. Cause these really, certainly they play a role. Absolutely. All the systems are always in use, um, but what we're interested in is the, the strength component, the strength endurance component. And so holding that really big power for, you know, a minute, sort of the limits of 
strength endurance within reason um, it's going to be very valuable for allowing me then to transfer that over to three minuteers five minuteers eight minuteers and eventually my threshold intervals getting up to 30 minutes so as well I'm on a road bike right now it's January um, now's the time to be doing things that are very far removed from your race specificity is the idea and as we get closer to the race of course we'll spend progressively more time on the time trial bike but for now just show me big power baby Number 10. Okay. Well, successful workout. Uh, my worst one was the first one. I think it was around 565, something like that. From number two through 10, all over 570, most over 580. Give you a sense of the the internal metrics on the recovery i let my heart rate get down to about 105 and um by the end of the interval i would be getting up to 160 so 55 beats spread across the interval inside of one minute um i mean i've been working towards this session i wouldn't recommend doing this session in more of a maximal manner like we did today uh, other than maybe once a month as like a test set but the importance of this sort of key set is that uh, this ends my sort of strength focused phase next week i start vo2 max but uh, we'll peak sometime in april the first day race and then we'll take a little recovery and then just repeat the process, but try and get those peaks a bit higher inside. Well, this block will be repeated sometime in uh, May and June. So uh, it's very important because it allows me to see how much I've progressed inside of this month and then basically inform uh, the intervals that I create in May and June uh, later this year. So uh, give it a shot. It's a great workout. 